natural healing. Breast cancer heals. Fibroids for over 15 years heal. Diabetes and heart condition heal. Miracle Arena for All Nations present Canada Night of Hope. Seven days of strategic miracles from the 19th to the 26th of January. Speakers include Bishop Clarence McClendon, Dr. Jamal Bryant, Prophet Charles Buchanan, Dr. Kim Lee Daniels, and Prophet Brian Khan. Host Prophet Coffee Danso. Sessions, evening 6.30 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Venue 20 Milvan Drive, off Finch and Western. Contact us at 1-800-807-7617 or visit MiracleArenaCanada.com. God bless you. This is a great opportunity God has given to us. 2014, a year of full of great manifestation, a year of divine overflow, supernatural empowerment. This year, I so believe in God and trust in God that the word in Psalm 91 we say that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And the beautiful one at the verse 7 and 8 is that because you have made the Lord your God, he will bless you. Because you've made him your Lord and your God, he will bless you. Some trust in chariots, others in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. 2014 is going to be a year. That God is going to give you the supernatural empowerment to accomplish all that you began. The Bible says that I am so persuaded about this in the book of Philippians chapter 1. It said, for he who has begun will also finish it. God began with you, he will finish with you. Remember, it is a year of 365 pages. What you write at each page determines what you see in your life. Start declaring things in your life. Start speaking things in your life. The Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 22, say, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. God has placed power in your mouth. The authority God has given to you, it will always work through what you say. So believe in what God placed in your heart and out of the abundance of their heart, do the mouth speak. Be careful what you say. In the, in the, in the condition, in a situation, in a place, in an area, in an atmosphere, do not let atmosphere pressure you to speak. Do not let people pressure you to speak. Sometimes even you don't have to allow problem to pressure you to speak. Speak what God's word says in all circumstances, in season and out of season. I'm so trusting God that this year will be a year of divine overflow, divine abundance, supernatural speed, elevation, that whatever you started in the previous years that you couldn't finish, God will give you the power to finish it. I'm happy and excited that God is going to use his servant uh, to be a blessing to us. As a matter of fact, God is bringing about five men of God together in the city of Canada, and it's going to be awesome. I want us to go watch it, and as we watch it, I want you to mark your calendar. Be here, because God will do something. My good brother, Prophet Brian Khan is coming, and, and, and Dr. Jamel Bryan is coming, and Bishop McClendon is coming, and, um, and, and Dr. Kim, uh, uh, Kim Daniels also will be coming. And um, these men and women of God are loaded. Um, um, I call them the, the, the men with great vision, the Isaac of our time. Who knows what we ought to do, where we have to be, and what God is placing on us. Let's watch it, and I'll be back to be a blessing to you. Miracle Arena for All Nations present Canada Night of Hope. Seven days of strategic miracles from the 19th to the 26th of January. Speakers include Bishop Clarence McClendon, Dr. Jamal Bryant, Prophet Charles Buchanan, Dr. Kim Lee Daniels, and Prophet Brian Khan. Host Prophet Coffee Danso. Sessions, evening 6.30 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Venue 20 Milvan Drive, off Finch and Western. Contact us at 1-800-807-7617 or visit MiracleArenaCanada.com. Com. It's gonna be it's gonna be extra extra blessing. This program is loaded with great word, great prophetic word, and this is a time that you need to know what God is saying about you. You see, God is still yesterday, today, and forevermore. He will remain forever. And the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, chapter four, verse seven and eight, says that for He has given us the gift for the edification of the church. God wants the saint to be edified. He wants the saint to be educated, knowledgeable, and have wisdom how to handle issue. All these men of God, I'm going to believe God that 
all of them will be sharing what we do even in our program and i'm trusting god for it to be a blessing to you in my hands i have a book which the lord placed in my heart to write many years ago and it has come into reality it has come into into fulfillment this book is entitled the bone collector in this book i shared with you that there are many situations and difficulties in life that sometimes when you're not careful you'll be broken you will feel dry dry family dry relationship dry business dry finances dry everything christian life can be dry sometimes you are waiting to hear from god and there is no voice coming now the bible says that the man of god who played a great character here that god gave the history and the story to a man who is very unique and very powerful his prophetic word is challenging he has a great message that challenged the society his name was called prophet Ezekiel. And the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, the spirit of the Lord came upon me and took me to a great valley full of bones that were broken, scattered together. And in this bone might be a doctor, might be a nurse, might be a lawyer, prime minister, great teacher, a great, great student. Probably they were moving in the jungle and they had an accident, something happened to them and they fell and they died. But then the Bible said, when the prophet appeared upon the dry bones, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and the Spirit of the Lord said unto him, Son of man, prophesy. And I've, I've got a revelation out of this that when we come to the dry bones of our life, dry business, actually what it means for us to stop in the realms of the Spirit, it means for us to prophesy. There comes a time that you don't have to use your strength anymore. There comes a time that your knowledge doesn't help anymore. There comes a time when your school doesn't work anymore. And some of us, we are in that time when we have gone to school and end up diplomas and have been in heavy, heavy classes and, and have all the qualification and the grade, but yet we are not doing the work we're supposed to do. That is the time where you come out and release a prophetic word upon the dry bones of your life. Most of us who are watching today might have had great vision, great dream, that 28, um, 2018, you plan for something. 2010, you plan for something. 2012, you plan for something. 2013, you plan for something. And 2014, you are so discouraged and you are telling yourself, I don't think I can make it. You need this book. In this book, I also shared that sometimes you can have friends and cousins and people who are very dear and close to your heart. And sometimes the way they speak may be broken, maybe maybe broken pieces into your life. It will be destroying instead of building you. And sometimes even in our churches, we are so suppressed, manipulated, intimidated to the point that we feel so dry. And sometimes also we can be in a relationship where we feel abused, used, and we think that we are useless. Get the book. And then Bible said that. Ezekiel the prophet prophesy upon the dry bone and all of the sudden the Bible said bone joined unto bone and there was swain and flesh that came together and this broken deserted abounded bone came together as an army and the Bible said they started watch marching do you know you can march from where you are do you know you can become what God has said you have to become all you need is a prophetic word that is why I want to invite you to our prophetic meeting I want to bring you into the presence where God give us access before his throne for greater manifestation. Let me tell you, let me say it again. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy and there are always pleasures and treasures, pleasures and treasures. God has given us the benefit of his presence. Anybody who carries the presence of God carries the atmosphere of creative miracle, atmosphere of transformation. If you carry the presence of God, no valley becomes a difficult thing to you. That is what David said. Yet though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of there, I fear no evil. What you are passing through looks death. It looks scary. It looks trouble. It looks torturing. But let me tell you something. The good news is that if the spirit of the Lord come upon you, he will carry you out of the flesh and you begin to see with a different eye. I told somebody today, I said, listen, the greatest pain in life is the other side of our life. And the other side of our life, maybe the eight hours of your life when you hit your head on a pillow and sleep for the, past, for the, for the, eight, for the rest of the eight hours, you may not see what happened. You slept and you woke up into a new day. And in those period when you are sleeping, when you don't see what goes on, some people see what goes on. And it's painful in life because greater exchange and greater destiny that are defeated always start at night. I'll have a message that I always preach. I said, what happened when men are asleep? 
you over trusted somebody you gave your trust to somebody you gave in yourself to somebody and it orchestrated something bad in your life i want you to join the service i'm taking you to some of the miracles and some of the prophetic words and some of the men of god who are going to minister to us enjoy there are a lot of things that god is going to do a lot of miracles packed with your name written on we'll be coming back to be a blessing to you if you have anybody who is sick admitted in the hospital Tell them to tune in right now. I'm going to pray for them. We've had somebody who have had cancer for six months healed. Somebody came into the building last week. He had pottery cancer and went to the hospital. And when he went back, they couldn't find it. I am blessed. I thank God for the gift of healing. And I thank God for the gift of prophecy. And I thank God for the gift of his word. And I thank God for the spirit of excellency. Miracle arena for all nations. A place where miracles and creative signs and wonders manifest by the power of God. Miracle Arena for All Nations present Canada Night of Hope. Seven days of strategic miracles from the 19th to the 26th of January. Speakers include Bishop Clarence McClendon, Dr. Jamal Bryant, Prophet Charles Buchanan, Dr. Kim Lee Daniels, and Prophet Brian Khan. Host Prophet Kofi Danso. Sessions, evening 6.30 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Venue 20 Milvan Drive, off Finch and Western. Contact us at 1-800-807-7617 or visit MiracleArenaCanada.com. Going to be supernatural guidance and divine direction. John 1 14 and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. Time out. Whose glory did we beheld? We beheld the word's glory. Not Jesus' glory, the Word's glory. Because before there was a Jesus, He was the Word. See, you're not with me. You're not, you're not with me. You're not with me. See, Jesus was not in the beginning with God, the Word was. Now, the Word looked just like Jesus, and Jesus looked just like the Word. The, but it was the word that was in the beginning with God. Well, how can you say that? Because I can read. He said, and the word was made flesh. Now, when the word was made flesh, we called him Jesus. Before he was made flesh, he was the word. Now, there is one man in heaven who's an advocate, and he's the man, Christ Jesus. Now, This, this, this is why when he led captivity, the captives gave gifts to men. When he ascended into the heavens, all the angels stopped. Everything stopped. Everything in heaven stopped. Because there had never been a man there. Robo shatakasaka. Come on, talk in tongues now. He was the first man. And Hebrews 1 says one angel looked at another angel and said, What is man? That thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou what is this man that god's got such a big thing with him what what is this what, what it now i'm going somewhere with this i'm not just trying to wow you watch watch i'm almost done I'm almost done some of you are going to get this watch this and the word was made for, and we beheld his glory we beheld the word's glory the word's glory was when it became flesh when it materialized it was the glory so then jesus is the glory of the father The glory walks into a synagogue one day Yes, <laughs> Shatilevosa. 
the, uh, the glory walks into a synagogue one day. He's handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. <laughs> I was Baptist raised. I can preach now. Hey! Glory be to God forevermore. He walks into a synagogue. He's handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And he reads the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Watch this now. Because he has stop. Because we read past that. And we don't get it. He said the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. So we're talking about two different things here. You, 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 you didn't get it. See, the anointing is not the spirit of the Lord, and the spirit of the Lord is not the anointing. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has. Miracle Arena for all nations present Canada Night of Hope. Seven days of strategic miracles from the 19th to the 26th of January. Speakers include Bishop Clarence McClendon, Dr. Jamal Bryant, Prophet Charles Buchanan, Dr. Kim Lee Daniels, and Prophet Brian Khan. Host Prophet Coffee Danso. Sessions, evening 6.30 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Venue 20 Milvan Drive, off Finch and Western. Contact us at 1-800-807-7617 or visit MiracleArenaCanada.com. Your spirit, that even while you've been stuck in your body, your mind been going a million miles an hour, but God says, I'm getting ready to show you, if you'll give me just 10 days to show it to you, that three times I'm going to show you where you're supposed to be. Hallelujah. I don't want you to just show me. Hallelujah where I'm supposed to be. I need you to show me where it is safe to birth my gift. God, I can't hear anybody in here. The gift I have is too dangerous for it to just be anywhere. God, I need you to put me in a zone where I can be safe flowing in the anointing that you gave me. I, I can't be anywhere hiding the fact that you put something supernatural over my life. God, where can I birth my gift? Hallelujah. And he's, he's giving me give you with specificity the location of your next assignment. You, you, you are too valuable to be random. Yo, yo, you just missed what I just said. I said, I said you're too valuable to be random. The, the grace of God that's on your life is not for everywhere. God, hallelujah. You, you ain't going to be comfortable everywhere because you ain't supposed to be everywhere. But God, put me in my right place where, where I can be in position for what you prophesied over my life. Miracle Arena for all nations present Canada Night of Hope. Seven days of strategic miracles from the 19th to the 26th of January. Speakers include Bishop Clarence McClendon, Dr. Jamal Bryant, Prophet Charles Buchanan, Dr. Kim Lee Daniels, and Prophet Brian Khan. Host Prophet Coffee Danso. Sessions, evening 6.30 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Venue 20 Milvan Drive, off Finch and Western. Contact us at 1-800-807-7617 or visit MiracleArenaCanada.com. Com. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Who told you about it? My girlfriend who is in England right now. She called me this morning and told me I had to go to church tonight. Your girlfriend in England yes. called you. Yes. So you got to go to church tonight. Yes. And she told you to come here. Yes. And she told me that Sister Rose would tell me where to come. And Sister Rose called me and invited me here. So I came. Well, good. Lift your hands. I don't know you, do I? No. We don't talk. No. You sure? 
Okay. Shake your hands, Lord. It is needful that you be here tonight. Because I saw a room. And in the room, I saw everything out of order. I saw books. I saw desks. I saw clothes. I saw everything out of order. And the Lord began to speak to me and said to me that your life has been in a disarray. Confusion everywhere. Yes. Everything out of line. Yes. And there's an attack against the Matthews lineage. Yes. Now, I don't know what Matthews means. It's my last name. Your last name is Matthews. Yes. Lift your hands. Somebody say Major. 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 Miracle Arena for All Nations present Canada Night of Hope. Seven days of strategic miracles from the 19th to the 26th of January. Speakers include Bishop Clarence McClendon, Dr. Jamal Bryant, Prophet Charles Buchanan, Dr. Kim Lee Daniels, and Prophet Brian Khan. Host Prophet Kofi Danso. Sessions, evening 6.30 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Venue 20 Milvan Drive, off Finch and Western. Contact us at 1-800-807-7617 or visit MiracleArenaCanada.com. Sir, I don't know, but I see yeah. in the realms of the spirit. There is wealth in your house. But just from August. A spirit is provoked to attack Tunde. And the reason why the spirit is provoked is because this man, if he is allowed to touch that property, the kind of wealth that is coming into his hands will be so big because I see something to do with oil. Oil. I see something to do with oil. And I saw you sitting and I saw you programming and I saw IT wisdom enter in you. That's very correct. Eh? That is very correct. I am into IT and I've been doing this for the last 25 years. Major. Major. Sir, I watch and I look. And as I saw, it were as I saw. I entered inside and I look at people sitting. There's going to be a strange attack. Apart from the attack over you, there is another attack. That attack actually was against the house where you live now. The devil is fighting that house. Because when the spirit got angry, the first thing the spirit did was that the spirit terminated your appointment of work. What's up? That is very correct. I had two contract that I was doing. One was for the Ontario government and the other one was for a oil company in Calgary simultaneously. Then in August, one was terminated. And then the second one ended in October, mid-October. And since then, nothing has happened. Oil! Oil! Listen to me and let me tell you something. Is there anybody called Samuel? 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 Anybody by name Samuel? 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 I'm not talking about Samson. I'm talking about Samuel. And Ayumode. Ayumode. Who is that? My son. Ayumode is your son. Yes, it's Samuel Ayumode. It's Samuel Ayumode. That is his name. <laughs> this miracles are always assigned to them that believe. The Bible says that, and they went to preach the gospel, and he accomplished his word with signs and miracles and wonders following. Mark chapter 16. I want you to believe God. If you are sick in any part of your body, lay your hands right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has placed upon you, whatever infirmity that you're going through, whatever stress and depression you're going through, in the name of Jesus, as even I pray here, 
let the power of the Lord touch you right now in the name of Jesus. There are three people God is touching right now. I hear the name Evans. I hear the name Evans. Evans, you were born 1979, 6 March 1979. And the Lord is speaking to me concerning that issue of yours. The Lord is saying to me, He's delivering you from that pressure. And within now, until the next 10 days, there's going to be a miracle for you. There's going to be a miracle for you. Alex is your name. Alex is your name. As a matter of fact, Alex, you were once a time married before, but now you're living back with your parents. It didn't went as you supposed, as you, you expected it. But God is going to touch your life and remake your life again. You've been in depression for a while, but the power of the Lord is coming upon you. There is somebody right now who is watching. You have a problem with your ear. Your right ear has been dead for two years. I'm praying for you, and after I pray for you, close the right one, close the, the one that is you can hear from, and the other one that has not been hearing for two years is going to open right now. In the name of Jesus, I command supernatural touch of the Holy Ghost to touch your ears right now. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ma'am, you have a knee problem, a knee problem. The right one has gone through surgery and then the left one is not complicating you right now. I want you to lay your hands as even you are sitting. Lay your hand there. Lay your hand. In the name of Jesus, be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Your, your, your third daughter called you complaining about the child that is sick. The child has been sick for almost a week now and she doesn't know what to do. And even as I'm praying for you, the power of the Lord is touching your daughter right now and your daughter's, your daughter's child is going to be healed. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Somebody is watching from the hospital. The power of the Lord is coming upon you. Lay your hands on your chest. You see the way you are sweating? It is deliverance. The power of the Lord is touching you. In the realms of the spirit, there are no distance. May God bless you. I want to, before I go, I want to pray for people who, who want to accept Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. Uh, the Bible says, Christ, you knew the hope of glory. You don't have to buy salvation. Salvation is what you, you end having as you give your life to Christ. He renew your life and he behold makes everything new. If you want to accept Jesus, 2014, a year of greater manifestation, without Christ in your life, there will be full of crisis. If you want to accept him now, say this after me, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. And today, I repent of my sins and accept you as my Lord and personal Savior in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you pray that prayer, find a believing um, church and find a Bible and start becoming a good, good follower of Jesus Christ and you'll be a blessing. And I want to give an opportunity to everyone who has been watching this program and you want to be a partner of Miracle Arena for All Nations. Your seed of $25 or more will help us to bring the gospel life to your house. Through your generosity, we are able to preach, create shelter, help the poor, and raise people up and give them future. So help us to do it now. Call the number you are seeing and you'll be a blessing. Email us, follow us on Twitter, um, and Facebook, and everywhere, and it will be a blessing to you. God bless you. I want you to come to this convention. Bishop McClendon is coming. Um, Dr. Jamal Bryan is coming. Um, Prophet Buchanan is coming. Prophet um, Brian Kine is coming. And Kim Daniels is coming. It's going to be an awesome night from the 19th to 26th. We are believing God for expectation of greater miracles. Your expectation determines a manifestation. And this is a program you don't want to miss. It's a program God has designed for you. Deliverance, prophetic word, divine manifestation, bringing you closer to the presence of God and you'll be a blessing. It's a program of its own kind. I said, heaven will come down and kiss the earth. Thank you for watching. My name is Prophet Kofi Danzo. Shalom, peace, and life to you. Bye-bye. Miracle Arena for All Nations present Canada Night of Hope. Seven days of strategic miracles from the 19th to the 26th of January. Speakers include Bishop Clarence McClendon, Dr. Jamal Bryant, Prophet Charles Buchanan, Dr. Kim Lee Daniels, and Prophet Brian Khan. Host Prophet Kofi Danso. Sessions, evening 6.30 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Venue 20 Milvan Drive of Finch and Western. Contact us at 1-800-807-7617 or visit MiracleArenaCanada.com. Dot com.